Ladies and gentlemen, people of Russia, today we stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution, a moment that redefines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of biblical proportions, characters that many have read about, debated and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth, stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding. From this day forward, let us proclaim our nation under the guidance of black Jesus, a figure who represents not just the cornerstone of Christian faith, but also a symbol of the universal values of love, compassion, and brotherhood. This black Jesus, whose likeness and history have been unveiled from the oldest vault, is a message to us all that divinity knows no color, that spiritual truth transcends race, and that our common humanity binds us more tightly than our differences divide us. Let this discovery remind us that history is not just the story of those who wield power, but also of those whose contributions have been overlooked. Things they have from their archives, they say a thousand years in their archives, and they showed that Sayyidina Isa salam, to be dark-skinned and images that are associated with the, the people of Sayyidina Isa salam, dark-skinned. And from what we taught from Sayyidina Muhammad that Sayyidina Musa salam, was very dark-skinned. 70,000 Prophets of Allah now these ulama are finally admitting out of 124,000, 70,000 dark-skinned Prophets that to know a truth and to deceive a people and to make a certain race of people as if they're more important than others. Have you ever pondered the representation of biblical figures like Jesus, the Virgin Mary, Abraham, or King David, only to find them depicted with darker skin tones? If not, then journey with us beyond the confines of Europe to the vast expanse of Russia, where a treasure trove of biblical icons unveils a stunning array of darker skinned figures. This revelation challenges traditional narratives and invites us to explore the intersection of history, faith, and artistry in new and profound ways. Intriguingly, Russia's collection of biblical icons featuring darker-skinned figures isn't a mere deviation from convention. It's a historical reality as vivid as the untouched horizon of time itself. These icons, meticulously preserved over centuries, are not just artistic anomalies. They are vessels of hidden truths, stirring profound questions about representation and the untapped dimensions of religious art. Let's begin by delving into the most iconic figure of all, Jesus Christ. While Western cultures have long embraced the image of a fair-skinned Jesus with flowing light hair and blue eyes, historical evidence suggests otherwise. The Bible, our primary source of information about Jesus, offers scant details about his physical appearance. Instead, it paints a picture of a Jewish man born in Bethlehem and raised in Nazareth, blending seamlessly with his contemporaries in first-century Galilee. Thus, it's likely that Jesus bore the typical features of other Jews from his region, with brown eyes and skin. However, the absence of explicit physical descriptions in the Bible has led to a myriad of interpretations throughout history. The portrayal of Jesus as a white European man has been the prevailing norm but recent events challenge this long-held assumption. In a period marked by introspection over racial injustice, voices around the world are calling for a re-evaluation of Jesus' depiction. Activists like Sean King advocate for the removal of statues and artwork portraying a white Jesus, citing the perpetuation of white supremacy 
and the need for a more accurate representation of Jesus's likely appearance. Amidst this global discourse, Russia's unveiling of black biblical icons takes on heightened significance. President Vladimir Putin's decision to transfer Andrei Rublev's Trinity, one of Russia's holiest icons, to a Moscow cathedral signals a resurgence of religious fervor intertwined with political symbolism. These icons, dating back to the 14th century, offer a glimpse into a rich tradition that has endured despite periods of suppression and upheaval. They challenge preconceived notions and prompt us to confront the complexities of historical representation. The significance of these icons extends beyond their artistic value. They serve as tangible reminders of the enduring power of truth. Despite attempts to erase or distort history, these relics stand as testaments to the resilience of marginalized narratives. The unveiling of these icons sparks a broader conversation about inclusivity in historical interpretation and the importance of confronting uncomfortable truths. However, debates surrounding the authenticity and interpretation of these icons persist. Some argue that the darker skin tones in these artworks are merely a result of age-related deterioration, while others contend that they reflect a deliberate effort to depict the true diversity of biblical characters. Regardless of the interpretation, these icons invite us to reconsider the dominant narratives that have shaped our understanding of history and faith. As we contemplate the significance of Russia's black biblical icons, we are reminded that history is not static. It is a dynamic tapestry woven from diverse perspectives and experiences. These icons challenge us to embrace the complexity of our shared past and to seek a more inclusive understanding of the human experience. In doing so, we honor the richness of our collective heritage and pave the way for a more enlightened future. Russia's revelation of black biblical icons invites us to embark on a journey of discovery and reflection. These icons challenge us to confront entrenched biases and to embrace a more nuanced understanding of history and faith. As we navigate this transformative moment, let us heed the call to engage with humility, empathy, and an unwavering commitment to truth. For in the exploration of our shared humanity lies the path to reconciliation, understanding, and ultimately, a more just and equitable world. The icons unveiled in Russia offer a fascinating glimpse into the intersection of art, history, and faith. Here's a deeper exploration of these remarkable artifacts. 1. Origins and History the black biblical icons date back to the 14th century and are believed to have been created by Russian Orthodox iconographers. These artists drew inspiration from Byzantine iconography, which influenced religious art across Eastern Europe and Russia. The icons depict scenes from the Bible, featuring figures such as Jesus, the Virgin Mary, saints, and biblical narratives. 2. Artistic Style the icons exhibit the distinctive artistic style of orthodox iconography, characterized by rich symbolism, stylized figures, and vibrant colors. Each icon is meticulously painted on wood using traditional techniques passed down through generations of iconographers. The use of gold leaf for halos and backgrounds adds a sense of divine radiance to the figures portrayed. 3. Depiction of Figures one of the most striking aspects of these icons is the portrayal of biblical figures with darker skin tones. Jesus, Mary, and other characters are depicted as ethnically diverse, challenging the prevailing Eurocentric interpretations of biblical imagery. This representation reflects the cultural and ethnic diversity of the ancient Near East, where biblical events are believed to have occurred. 4. Symbolism and Meaning the black biblical icons hold profound religious significance for Orthodox Christians. They serve as objects of veneration and sources of spiritual inspiration, inviting believers to contemplate the mysteries of faith and divine revelation. The icons convey theological truths through visual symbolism, inviting viewers into a deeper encounter with the sacred mysteries depicted. 5. Preservation and Rediscovery Many of these icons were preserved in private collections across Russia, hidden away during periods of religious persecution and political turmoil. The unveiling of these icons in museums and galleries represents a rediscovery of Russia's rich cultural and religious heritage. Their survival against the odds is a testament to the enduring power of faith and the resilience of religious communities. 6. Interpretation and Debate The interpretation of these icons has sparked lively debate among scholars, theologians, 
and art historians. Some view them as authentic representations of biblical characters, reflecting the ethnic diversity of the ancient world. Others see them as artistic interpretations influenced by cultural and historical factors. Regardless of interpretation, the icons challenge prevailing assumptions and invite dialogue about the complexities of religious representation. 7. Impact and Legacy The unveiling of these black biblical icons has had a profound impact on religious discourse and cultural understanding. They have prompted reflection on issues of diversity, representation, in the interpretation of sacred texts. By foregrounding the presence of darker-skinned figures in religious art, these icons have contributed to a more inclusive and nuanced understanding of Christianity's global heritage. In summary, the black biblical icons of Russia represent a rich tapestry of art, history, and faith. They challenge conventional narratives and invite viewers to explore the multifaceted nature of religious representation. As symbols of cultural resilience and religious devotion, these icons continue to inspire and provoke thought in contemporary society. As we come to the end of this enlightening journey into the world of black biblical icons, we invite you to reflect on the profound insights and revelations we've encountered together. These icons, with their rich history, diverse representation, and enduring significance, Remind us of the power of art to challenge assumptions and expand our understanding of faith and culture. We hope that this exploration has sparked curiosity and deepened your appreciation for the complexities of religious imagery and interpretation. As we strive to uncover hidden truths and embrace diverse perspectives, let us continue to engage in dialogue, seeking wisdom and understanding from the voices of history and the expressions of art. If you found this video thought provoking and informative, we encourage you to show your support by hitting the like button below. Share it with your friends and family to spread awareness and foster meaningful conversations. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future videos exploring fascinating topics like this one. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Together, let's continue to explore the wonders of our world with open minds and open hearts. By Father Vladimir Ivanov. This is a book that is highly coveted by different circles it, because it has the black icons. It has the um, history of black people in places like Russia and um, Italy in places all over Europe. This book can range from 1300 to 3000.